What's up everybody, this is Dan Dan the Fireman. I wanna to talk to you guys about some affordable motorcycle helmets. I believe in all gear all the time and a helmet is one of the main things that you should be getting. It will protect your brain, it'll protect your face, it'll protect all the vital things that truly need to be protected. If you wanna see any of the footage that's happening behind you, click that subscribe button, click that little bell, and that way you'll be notified when any new videos come out on my channel. So guys, let's go ahead and start it off with the Scorpion EXO R410 helmet. And it's roughly about $140, you know, without shipping or tax. And it comes out with some really cool features. An intermediate oval shaped helmet. So if you have an intermediate shaped head, it will fit you perfectly. It weighs about 3.68 pounds and it features a lot of cool technology that is an entry level helmet. So it has an advanced polycarbonate shell, has an ever clear no fog face shield already attached to it, two antimicrobial fabric liners, and it has an emergency release system that allows easy removal of the helmet by trained emergency medical personnel. And that's a huge thing for me because that's one of the main things you don't wanna do is take a helmet off of a person that just recently crashed unless it's affecting their airway. So I think that's really nice and it's pretty neat that that has that system in there. And it's DOT and Snell approved. I think it's a really cool helmet. It's about $140 and, and every helmet that I do talk about today will have links in description if you wanna go buy them. I'm getting a lot of my information from Rosilla and Amazon, a lot of reviews, a lot of things I've been. So the next helmet I wanna talk about is the Bell Qualifier helmet. It's the helmet my girlfriend wears whenever we go riding. It's about $109, $110. That doesn't include shipping or taxes. And it's an intermediate oval shaped helmet for an intermediate oval shaped head. It's 3.28 pounds and it comes with a lot of cool stuff. I actually really like that helmet. So it has a removable washable and antibacterial interior. It has an adjustable ventilation system for cooling, which is really nice. It actually does work pretty well because we have used it in the summertime here when it was getting around 110, 120 degrees. It has a wind collar that drastically reduces wind and road noise. And it does have integrated speaker pockets for audio speakers. I did hook up the Cena SMH10R to this helmet and it does fit. It does work really well with audio speakers. It has an anti-fog, anti-scratch and UV protected shield. It's DOT approved, it has a D-ring closure with a padded chin strap. It's a really good helmet for the price. You can't go wrong with that. So I'm gonna stick with what I know and I'll talk to you guys about the Fly Racing Trekker helmet. This is a helmet that I do have. It's a dual sport helmet. It's an awesome helmet. I took the visor off, so it's a little more friendly on road, but it comes out around $150 MSRP. And you can find some deals on many websites out there, which I will have a link in the description. So it's an intermediate oval helmet and it weighs about 3.85 pounds. Now, like I said, it's a dual sport helmet. You will get a lot of wind noise, but it feels so good. It's very comfortable and you get a lot of ventilation through it. It has really big liners in there. It makes it very comfortable. It's called the dual density EPS liner. It reduces the shock of impact and it just feels really good. It does have unique visor shape and it allows for goggles when the shield is in the open or closed position. So that's really cool. It's really awesome that you're able to do that. So if you want to go off road and you flip the visor up, you're, you're already ready to go. And when I mentioned that it does have a lot of ventilation, it has 16 total vents, eight intake and eight exhaust. So you get a lot of airflow. It is DOT and ECE approved. Now back into the street type helmet, the Icon Alliance dark helmet. It looks really badass. It's really cool. Has a huge looking visor for the helmet it has. It just looks amazing. I think you guys can't go wrong with this. It usually comes out at $150, not including shipping. It's a long oval shaped helmet though. This is a little different. It weighs 3.62 pounds. When I'm talking about the long oval, it has a narrow fit interior. It offers a lot of room in the front and back, but it will be tighter from side to side. So if you have a really long oval type head, this might fit you pretty well. So it has a fully removable washable interior, a quick change fog-free pro shield with side plates, a pro lock shield locking system, some rear exhaust ports to prevent some heat buildup. It has a chin ventilating system, which will reduce fogging. Now what it says here is that it's an all world standard. It meets or exceeds the following. DOT FMV SS218, which is in the US, the ECE202-05, which is in Europe, and the SAI AS1698, which is in Australia, and SG, which is a Japan safety and testing standard. So I think it's pretty cool that it goes all across the world and meets and exceeds the standards of a lot of safety organizations. So you can't go wrong with that. Bell Custom 500 helmet. Now this isn't obviously the safest of all of these helmets on this list because it is a three quarter helmet, but I love my Bell Custom 500. It fits great, it fits amazing, I love it. It's obviously a little bit lighter, and it, it's a little bit cheaper than some of these helmets here. It comes in around $119, depending what color scheme you want. And that's what's the real cool thing is that you're able to choose different colors. Now, obviously this is gonna fit more of a, the cruiser crowd, not necessarily the sport bike crowd, but you can't really go wrong with it either. 
It's an intermediate oval shaped helmet for an intermediate oval shaped head. It weighs at 2.41 pounds. The one thing I don't like is that you can't remove the liners in there to wash them out. So it will smell a little bit, but you know what? Mine has lasted me forever for thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. It does have a padded chin strap with the D-ring enclosure and it, the liners are actually very comfy. You can't go wrong with that. It does run slightly small. So if you're in between sizes, go ahead and order the larger size. But once again, if it doesn't work out, pick a helmet that does fit. That way you are protected. Well, guys, I hope you liked this. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see any of this stuff in the background, if you want to know more about helmets and safety gear, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff in the next coming weeks. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment below what helmet you have and tell me what you think and tell me what you think is one of the best helmets for the price. I'll see you guys later. You all ride safe, wear your gear, and I'll see you later.